80% of the debt recovered! We're too good. Oh my gosh, we have 50 purple Pikmin now. That's that's amazing. Alright, Louie, we're gonna leave you behind. Sorry there, buddy. Where did... You guys don't get to slack off. You're on the job. Just ignore them. They're fine. They can do what they want. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to deal with the creeping chrysanthemum. Can't believe I had to use a bitter spray on that. The game, as, as much as people say P purple Pikmin kind of break the game, like the game is literally built around the fact that they expect you to have purple Pikmin like everywhere. Are you are you serious? Yep, I've had to use two bitter sprays on easy enemies. It's ridiculous. All right, Wally Wog. Die. I'm gonna leave a lot of them, but take some of them back. Okay. Didn't really want to take 60 of them. This is where the bigger me megaphone, the bigger whistle, can actually be a little annoying. Take a couple more. There we go. That should be fine. Take the rest back. We need some poison Pikmin up here. Oh, I'm a, I'm adult. I could have. I didn't even need to go by the two creeping chrysanthemums. I could have. Bah. All right, white Pikmin. Come, my tireless worker bees. You guys are so fast. Look how the frog is staring at us! How did he die? How? I whistled all of- what? This is bogus. I whistled all my white Pikmin. All of them. None of them were even close to the frog when he landed. How did one of them die? We're finishing the day. Like, this is happening.
put the yellow Pikmin back already. Here we go, okay. Split them up into two groups. So, Olmar, you take all the whites. Um, I said, leave the whites. I don't care how badly that Pikmin wants a spa vacation, he's not going with the whites. He's gonna die! <laughs> Take up both the frogs immediately, so I don't have to worry about them later. Oh, great. of them. Oh, great. You guys are under the bridge. For some stupid reason. <sighs> Y'all are dumb as carrots. Alright, Olimar. Now we need the help of the Poison Boys. <laughs> nice to see you, Louie. Hope you aren't slacking off. Ah, what the freak? Why did the poison guys run all the way? Man, I really hate this game sometimes. They literally just blatantly ran towards the water to drown themselves. Okay. And this is just the beginning because uh, we got a nasty surprise awaiting for us up here. It's a burrowing snagret! And another cave behind this gate. Intriguing, my acoustic sensors are picking up a high-pitched wail. It seems to emanate from the area near this gigantic stump. This large root must penetrate deep beneath the planet's surface. Fascinating. Hoping we can break down the gate in peace, because I don't really want to have to deal with the burrowing snagret with only Pikmin that are of this quality. Oh, and a creeping chrysanthemum. Great. Just, just when I need it. Alright, so that's complete. I f so this is the Snagret Hole. Every hazard except for fire. And, uh, I'm gonna enter in just so I can get a save point. Because I'm gonna leave and then come back. I don't want to have to build all those bridges again. Snagret Hole. Level, sub level 1. Yeah, we're not actually attempting it this stream. This will have to wait till another time. 
give up and escape. Yeah, see a snake root hole. I just wanted to get the free save in the middle of the day. Well, yes, I would love to save. Yeah, that's that's probably going to be the last thing we do in the Awakening Wood. The, the snake root hole is definitely the toughest of the uh, caves in Awakening Wood. Okay. We do not need Poison Pikmin anymore. Having said that, I want to do some, uh... Oh wait, actually, hang on. I think we need both captains for this next part. That little, um, badminton treasure. At the top of that one block, I want to try to get that. So that's a puzzle, I think, that requires you to use a combination of the two captains. So there's a stump up here. So I'm gonna leave Louie there. I'm gonna give him quite a few Pikmin. I'm gonna give him probably around... I'll probably give him 30. There's 30 Pikmin there. Then this stump pops up. We need to have more Pikmin on this stump than on the stump with Louie on it. And then it'll fall back. Now we can swap to Louie, get the Pikmin under our command, toss them up here, and they can grab this Badman. The little birdie. That's a fun little treasure to get. I like the puzzle treasures. Now, which way are you going to try to take that? Are you taking you're taking it over towards the snake rit? That's see, that's not what we want. The snake rit is a dangerous foe. Actually, if we play our cards right, we might be able to do the snake rit hole this day cycle. I don't want to do it this stream because I'm getting a little tired, but. You know, we could just finish out Awakening Wood entirely, because I think... I think all we really have to do left... here... is get the birdie in the overworld, defeat the Snagret in the overworld, I believe that has another treasure, and then do the Snagret hole. So we're only... we're getting our combat units. Our reds and our purples. closer, but not a lot. I don't like how they were pushing everybody. Nope. You will not run off a cliff, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that guy is another treasure, so... This will be fun. Did take that, get wrecked. Ultra spicy spray with a bunch of combat Pikmin, yeah, don't stand a chance. Oh, does he actually not have a treasure? Well, I still wanted him to get out of the way. And we gotta get rid of the creeping chrysanthemum as well. Man, the creeping chrysanthemum has a lot of HP.
There you go. Carry that on back. I want to say that is the last treasure that we have to get. Is the birdie. Make sure you don't carry it in the path of anything dangerous. I don't think you will. Well, this is where the treasure detector helps because uh, I'm not sure if this is if this is the last treasure in the overworld. I'm gonna try to make a run for the Snagrit hole. If it's not, however, then I'm fine just ending the day, getting the last treasure or two next stream, and then taking on the Snagrit hole in a new day. Ooh, yeah, a hundred Pocos! Wow, the air break. Okay, that was the last treasure here. Okay. Oh no, we left a freaking Pikmin behind. Where is he? Way back there. Okay. These are all flower Pikmin. Oh, no. Where? Okay. That's not good. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the long way around. Ugh. Oh no, if I don't get that one Pikmin under my control, I he dies. Ugh. Why did you get stuck at the bridge area? No. Are you freaking serious? My stupid Pikmin ran off a cliff for no freaking reason. They weren't even close. They did that of their own accord. They freaking suicided themselves. It's gonna say they were lost to sunset, isn't it? Yep, it says they lost the sunset because they decided to take a plunge in the lake when they can't swim. And I didn't tell them to do that, and there was no reason for them. They just made a freaking beeline right there. <sighs> They're the worst. This is why I made a midday save. Well, it's... Well, at least now we know we only have that treasure left, so... Don't even necessarily need to kill the burrowing. No, we do. We do need to kill the burrowing snakeret and the freaking chrysanthemum just because the Pikmin are going to be. I'm going to carry it right past them. Oh no, I got eaten. How did that happen? Let's try to kill the Snagret with just blue Pikmin. If we use the spicy spray, we might be able to.
Yep. That's all it took. Don't care. <laughs> We're getting this done today. No use in having sprays if you don't use them. Alright, that's a job well done. Yeah, because they're going to carry that birdie like right next to the Creeping Chrysanthemum, so I had to do it. Had to. Do 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 do. Alright, we're gonna enter the snake root hole, but then we're gonna save the snake root hole for next stream, because I don't want to do yet another cave. I don't think I can handle it. There we go. Last treasure in the overworld. For Awakening Wood, that is. Air break. No, I'm putting them all back because otherwise it's like, oh, you want to keep the leaf Pikmin? Nope, I really don't. Are there only 63 under my control? Why are there 63 under my control? I told you guys to go back in. Twenty of everything. Rise and shine, everybody. Look alive. We're going to the snake root hole. It's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> like <laughs> None of this, oh, I'm gonna pluck the grass. Like, no, you're not. You're not doing anything of the sort. Alright, this time, nobody's gonna be stupid and run off of the bridge for no reason. Okay. Here we go, we're entering the snake root hole for realsies this time. Alright, this is the last thing we have to do in Awakening Wood! Then we can chill out and go back to Perplexing Pool. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was... Now you can see the game is starting to get frustrating and annoying. <laughs> We'll be continuing this, actually, not next weekend. As a matter of fact, I'll be taking two weeks off. Because I'm going to Florida and visiting my <laughs> brother, sister-in-law, and nephew. And it's going to be great. And there's going to be nice sun. So, next week's stream... Uh, next, so, I will be streaming Monday and Wednesday this coming week, but not Saturday. And then the week after... I'll be streaming nothing, and I won't be back until mon uh, Monday. So, I won't be back until early March. So, yeah. Pikmin's going to take a couple weeks of a break, and when we get back, we'll complete the Snake Root Hole, and then we'll be going back to Perplexing Pool to probably do Submerged Castle, which is going to be very fun and memorable. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.